Now look at the experimental setup as well as application of Michelson interferometer to calculate the wavelength of the light. This is the source of light. This is the beam splitter. This is the adjustable mirror. This is the movable mirror. So we are calculating the wavelength of the light. So this is the pattern observed on the screen. So when I am changing the this particular point, you can see the number of fringes may appear or disappear from the center. So let us keep one reference mark here. This is the reference mark. So how many? Half a wave fringe is counted one second and a new fringe will appear within the frame. Let us calculate. I am changing the position. See now. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nine. How much distance? D is equal to 6.5 microns and move now. So, use the formula 2D is equal to M lambda. Two times of D 6.5 microns micrometer by N is how much? 20. So, by calculating this. We are getting 0.65 micrometers. There is nothing but which is the wavelength region is in the red color wavelength. So just look at the uh, video. So we will get the clear cut understanding about the Michael's feature for the future. So let's connect like this. So both the reflecting refractor things are superimposed and producing the interference pattern. Like this, we can calculate the wavelength of the given light source. The next one. Suppose I am keeping a transparent film between any one of the path so that Similarly, there is a certain number of fringes may appear or disappear. So keep a reference line and count down the number of fringes may appear or disappear. That is going to be defined. So mu is the refractive index of the film. So T is the thickness of the film. So by using this formula, you can calculate the thickness. Or if you know the thickness, you can calculate the refractive index of the film. The next one more application is the difference between the two spectral lines of the same color. So here, uh, by using this particular formula, the difference of wavelength lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to lambda squared by 2d. The lambda square is nothing but the average wavelength of sodium light. The d is the separation distance between the two successive maximum intensities observed on the screen. So that will be the difference of lambda 1 minus lambda by 2. So let us like the problem. Uh, let us go for one of the problem. So if one of the mirror is moved by distance of 0 0.08 millimeters, so there are two fifty fringes crossing the field of so what is the wavelength? So using the formula 2d is equal to n lambda, we can calculate. So lambda is going to get 6400 angstrom units. So similarly, the there is one more problem. So I am taking the two different wavelengths, the 4882 angstrom units and 4886 angstrom units. So what distance does the mirror have to be moved between the two positions of the disappearance of the fringes? We have to calculate the d. Here, lambda 1 is given, lambda 2 is given, this is lambda 2. This is lambda 2, this is the lambda 1. Since lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2, 
the difference is lambda 1 minus lambda 2 and lambda squared. So we have to take the average wavelength of the two thing. So 4882, 4886. So the average wavelength is going to get is 4883 angstrom units. So lambda squared is average of this. So we will get 4883 angstrom units and lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is given. So by using this formula, we can calculate the D. The D you are going to get 0.298 millimeter. So similarly, like the same problem. So by using this Michelson interferometer, now we get into the position to say that we can calculate the wavelength so accurately. At the same time, we can calculate the separation distance between the two spectral lines of the same color, and the thickness of the transparent film can be calculated so accurately. Now, uh, there are cross checking forms when the mirror M1 and M2 are both are perpendicular, here of the set of fringe pattern, there is a high range of there. If any one of the mirror is more, a certain number of fringes may appear or disappear. By using this, we can calculate the wavelength. Similarly, the thickness can be evaluated. If we keep, uh, suppose we want to calculate the refractiveness of the liquid, that between the that the folder, sample folder, a small sample holder which is a liquid inserted, we can calculate the refractive index of the filling, the refractive index of the fit, the refractive index of the liquid which is enclosed between the two transparent filling in the sample holder. So, so this is about the Michelson interferometer. Thank you.